Okay, ready to start the day here. Filled the diesel with five gallons and it looks like it's all the way full. Got another five gallons ready to go. And uh, that's it. It's a beautiful morning. Motor sailing south. Making good time though. I uh, wish I could sail, fully sail. Uh, just want to make sure I make Tangier in time. Tangier, just a couple miles out, um, pretty low, hard to see, um, there's a water tower on it and a couple buildings I see. And uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, really low level land, you can't even hardly see it. But um, to the east, there's really shallow water and some shoals. in here right next to the office um, got had five feet uh, so that should be fine it's kind of high tide it might drop a foot it might be right around four after docking at Parks Marina I took some time to walk around the island and explore a bit and I think it's a place you just have to see for yourself it has a lot of history uh, old burial grounds a quaint little fishing community and they say that the island is slowly sinking into the bay due to erosion and rising sea levels. So definitely a place worth checking out before it's potentially lost forever. If you sail on the Chesapeake, I highly recommend it as a spot to sail to, check out. It's a fun cruising destination. All right, I'm headed off. Got a reefs main. motoring. Yeah, I think the reef was the right call. It seems pretty, pretty balanced. Uh, you can see I've only got my wheel a quarter turn, not, not even a quarter, like an eighth off center. Um, I don't love beating to weather, but I do like the fact that like my boat balances and I can just kind of lock the wheel and leave for a couple minutes to maybe even like a half hour hour once it's really dialed in so that's pretty sweet so yeah I'll just be uh, slogging my way back up the bay Poking along here, about a five knot breeze, broad reach, doing like three, three and a half knots. All right, we turned on the motor. So the wind just shifted as I got in the river here. And uh, gonna just motor into uh, Reedville.
But yeah, nice, nice short little sail over to Reedville from Tangier, and not much going on. The crazy crab is closed, and it's just a nice, sleepy little situation. Some really nice homes with uh, waterfront property and deep water docks. Looks pretty nice. So yeah, just not much going on in this town. This is the marina. Um, there's the fishing fish factory over there. And I'm gonna walk into town down the road. Um, looks like there's a restaurant that opens at five. So I'm gonna check that out. All right, I'm in Reedville where there's absolutely nothing going on. Everything's shut down, but there was this crab house right here and they gave me this bucket of ice. So I got that good ice from the crab house. About to dump it in here. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, so much ice. I'm dig down. I dig deep. Ooh, it's hot. I ended up moving spots and putting my boat here at this Reedville Market. It's a restaurant and bar. It's pretty nice, kind of fancy, but they have a free dock. Um, no electric, but a free dock in a much quieter uh, creek or cove. Just paddling around enjoying the scenery it's very nice here it's super quiet and then i'll head out tomorrow morning for solomon's yeah so the plan is to head north to solomon's and the wind is kind of light during the morning and then it goes around south and they say by like 2 p.m. This, the wind should pick up so I might just kind of like take my time here knowing that the later I leave the better wind I'll have and it'll just be a better sail anyway so that's the plan and um, put the kayak on the boat just kind of chill out for a minute get some coffee going and head to Solomon's we're leaving Reedville I'd highly recommend it if you want to do some anchoring in some peaceful coves. Uh, it's just a beautiful little town, lots of nice houses with deep water slips and, and boat houses and a couple little spots to grab a bite to eat, uh, mostly I'd say on the weekends. Last time I went to Solomon's, I got this fender. I found it just floating out in the middle of the bay. And I picked it up, a nice big one. We're motoring, just headed north, heading uh, 45 degrees northeast towards Solomon's. I got around uh, this point on the southern edge of the Potomac River and then across the Potomac. The wind's starting to shift. It's kind of uh, out of the east now. Do a little dead reckoning. Got my compass, got my map, and my parallel rules. And I'm gonna see if I can get a fix on my position on the map. All right, so there's this uh, ship that you can see above the water here. I'm somewhere probably here. And then uh, there's the lighthouse on the point here. It'll be hard to see on the GoPro, but there's a lighthouse on 
that land and the ships way out there. I'm gonna call that 60. Oh, here's the wind. Well, the wind just decided to kick in. Two eleven. Got my fix from the ship and the lighthouse. Puts me right about there. Let's see how close I am. Okay, so it's pretty close. I took a screen grab. This mark. Thirty-eight. It was. 38, 0 0.38. Um, so right there on that 38, that's pretty good. And then it said 7613, 7610, 1, 2, 3. 13 would have put me here. 13 would have put me here. So I was off on this one quite a bit. Still pretty close. In a couple miles. All right, I just put up the jib and turned off the motor, and we're doing probably about five knots. Uh, haven't checked, but I figured might as well start sailing. This is a sailing trip, so I just brought. I just was going uh, due north, zero. And I just fell off 30 degrees, uh, and that put us on a nice broad reach. So, I'll go this way for a while, and then once I got a good angle at Solomon's, I'll jive. Reach the other side of the bay. Time to jive. Sailing. Glad I made that decision. into Solomon's Islands. Alright, uh, good morning from Solomon's. Uh, I had a good night last night. It's almost 8 o'clock. So I'll head out and the plan is to head north back to Harrington Harbor. Um, it's about 30 nautical miles in a straight line, although it'll probably be broad reaching with the south breeze. It'll be 15 to 20, they say, uh, small craft today. So I'm gonna start out with the reef main. Sailing home from Solomon's Island. Let's see how fast we're going. 
four knots four and a half knots just hugging the coast as we exit the patuxent river and uh a lot of crab pots here along that coast towards drum point so would uh, remain vigilant as always. The wind's picked up a bit more, um, just like a little bit of a swell. I don't know, not as not as crazy as I thought it'd be out here, but uh, it's supposed to build, I think, a bit today. I probably don't need the reef right now, but I'm just gonna leave it that way. I feel like at any moment this could gust and kick up. <laughs> that was squirrely for a second. I had to pop my main sheet. I didn't want to get messed. I don't know what was going on. That's fine. All worked out. sailing in the rain so a little bit of everything here I, uh, I just put away the jib and went directly downwind uh, because there's a freighter coming up behind me and there's this squall here so I didn't want too much sail up so I just got my reef main going downwind still doing like five knots it's really pretty calm right now downwind like this uh, the steady rain now uh, the winds kind of died uh, it's kind of calmed down a lot since this rain came and it's shifted more uh, southwest westerly uh, so now I'm beam reaching and almost due north uh, 350 heading so this will put me straight to Herring Bay, uh, a little slower, but still saying we'll get in around 12 or 1. All right, well, I was having fun. And then the wind died and it started raining. our way along off Chesapeake Beach a couple miles out from the east channel marker it's a nice little way to end it wind kicked back up here one last little sail here maybe a little rain shower we'll see There she is, safe and sound in her slip. <laughs> 